Las Vegas, like so many other cities, faces the ongoing issue of homelessness. Now, it's not a new issue, and it's not something city leaders have just started to try to tackle. For decades, new ideas and programs have been implemented, some successful, some not. At the November 6th City Council meeting, a new ordinance was approved by our city leaders aimed at getting people off the streets and into shelters and programs that can help them. It's a difficult task to answer the call of residents, business owners, and visitors who say they are tired of dealing with the unsanitary conditions left behind by people camping on the streets, the panhandling, and often the hindrance to conducting business, all the while trying to get the homeless off the streets in a dignified manner and get them to the help that is available for them. Good morning, everyone. The November 6, 2019 meeting of the City Council is called to order. On November 6, the Las Vegas City Council passed a new ordinance aimed at doing all of that. To say it was met with enthusiasm from all would be less than accurate. Our mayor, Carolyn Goodman, managed to calm the crowd with her word that they would get a chance to speak, but would not be allowed to disrupt proceedings. If you care and really care, you will sit down and observe the decorum of this body who is taking everything it in earnest and with dignity, and I expect the same from each of you. So Most who were present did adhere to protocol. Those who did not were escorted out. Excuse me, excuse me, anybody? You may go right out also. Once the meeting was underway, City Attorney Brad Jerbick headed up a presentation explaining the new ordinance, which he admitted from the start tackles a difficult problem. This is a very, very, very complicated issue. One that cannot be distilled into, we need more bathrooms, we need more transitional housing, we need more of this. We all know that. If they were that easy, we wouldn't be sitting here right now. He also explained the goal is not to imprison the homeless. It's to free them from the streets by directing them to help. If there are no shelter beds available, we don't enforce, period. There will be no arrests. There will be no citations. There will be nothing. If there are shelter beds, and we're responsible for finding out if there are shelter beds, then we will enforce to the limit that those shelter beds get full, full up. He explained the city will even go so far as to transport anyone who chooses to go to a shelter. Dr. Lisa Morris Hibbler, Chief Community Services Officer for the city, spoke of the courtyard where a myriad of services are available to help get people housed, hired, and healthy. The city dedicated $16 million to develop and launch the courtyard. Since it opened in 2017, more than 28,000 requests for services have been taken, and many who turned to the courtyard are now employed. The city has demonstrated a commitment of providing critical service to individuals and families experiencing homelessness, and we will continue to meet people where they are, to offer low barrier solutions, and to help people navigate the path from homelessness to permanent supportive housing or self-sufficiency. Also included in the report was this fact. The city spends $2.7 million a year on homeless cleanup efforts because urban encampments not only endanger the people sleeping on the streets, they endanger all of us. If we have huge piles of trash, if we have uh, body waste, if we have putrescent waste, if we have those things occurring, then they result in certain diseases or can result in certain um, disease-related uh, outbreaks. Those include staph infections, antibiotic-resistant staph infections, also known as MRSA, hepatitis A, Bartolona Quintana, which is also known as trench fever, based on World War I outbreaks, uh, Shigella, tuberculosis, and typhoid. And so we routinely clean out encampment-related areas trying to stay in front of that. Public comment was taken for hours from those for and against the proposed ordinance. The issue of persistent and pervasive homelessness that faces our community is complex and requires consistent and sustained efforts from many organizations. The city and the business community have taken several important steps towards addressing the issue of homelessness. Well, I went to Catholic school, and our field trips were to homeless shelters, <laughs> to talk to them, to see them as human beings. And um, I hope that you see them as that, 
And this ordinance, sadly, as long as it has an aspect of criminalization, takes away their humanity. At the end of a very long emotional meeting, each council member was able to state their support or opposition, with the mayor getting the final word. She told those in attendance the time for holding meetings and forming more committees is over. It's time to take a step toward a solution. We are the city of Las Vegas. And I am asking you <coughs> to understand that this is not penalty oriented. This is not a criminal. This is to get our homeless into an environment of reentry into the best life in this community. The ordinance went into effect November 10th. However, the penalties will not go into effect until February of next year.